Much of human geography is rooted in five concepts. Location, where is something. Distance, as I mentioned earlier, how far is one thing from another. Space, what is the area or region of something. Spatial relations, which I'll talk more about in a minute. And accessibility, can you get to something or are there barriers, either physical or cultural. Now, in regard to spatial relations, there are several ways to, uh, to consider them. Diffusion is important. How does one thing get from one place to many other places? Sometimes the thing is a disease that spreads from one person to others in the same room or to those who have contact with him or her. That's contagious diffusion, but it's not always disease. It could also be a way of speaking, such as dialects that are found in a place where a certain group of people have had a high intensity of contact with one another over generations. Another kind of diffusion is called hierarchical. Examples include Broadway plays or movies that start out in a metropolitan center such as New York or Los Angeles, then if successful move out to other markets, not necessarily the suburbs of those cities. Music is another example, whether country music or rap. Various sports are good examples, with soccer in the U.S. beginning in the Northeast and spreading across the country. American football and baseball are further examples. Intervening opportunities are another kind of spatial relation. They occur when something you want at a great distance is also available in a similar but more easily accessible form closer to where you are. Want to go to Disneyland? But you'll settle for Adventureland? That's an intervening opportunity. Not as much travel and no overnights needed. You can think of many other examples. Transferability is another major spatial relations concept. Can you move a thing from one place to another? How much does it cost? Something light is much more transferable than something heavy. The easiest thing to transfer is information. We do this electronically all the time. Finally, another way of considering, considering spatial relations is called complementarity. If I have something you need and you have something I need and we can figure out a way to exchange, then we have complementarity. The world's trade is based on this, whether we're talking about raw materials or labor or money or something else. Complementarity leads to movements of goods, people, information, or something else. Thus, it is geographically significant. There are different ways of considering location, distance, and area. We can have an absolute measurement using latitude and longitude coordinates. Cedar Rapids, for instance, is 42 degrees north, 91 degrees, and 38 minutes west or relative location, considering site and situation. Kirkwood is a site in the situation of Lynn County, or its seven county service area. Or we can have a cognitive location, which would be a place, something we know about from experience. Similarly with distance, we can measure it in miles, we can compare one distance with another, or experience it personally. In an area, and with area, uh, we can uh, measure it, describe it, or experience it as a territory with which we may be familiar through experience. 